uh, to PK and Dirk for the invite back. So um, obviously you've seen an unbelievably good demonstration of uh, where it should fit in everybody's uh, algorithm. These are my uh, conflicts. So uh, we've discussed sort of all morning uh, what the problem is, and I think um, what you saw in that case is, is sort of the real world uh, situation where it's not only just ISR, but in a lot of instances it's, it's long segment ISR. Uh, so long lesions uh, in combination uh, with restenosis. And so when you look at SFA stent trials, and this has been uh, discussed, you see that compared to coronaries, obviously it's nowhere in the same neighborhood, but uh, just not where we want to be. And even having looked at these trials, you have to also wonder if the results are understated because when you look closely in these trials, uh, they're not including what we see every day, which is long lesions, overlap stents, repeat uh, offending ISR, and people have multi-level uh, disease that makes it complicated. And then, of course, the disease is also progressive. So as you follow people out longitudinally over time, you see that the disease continues. If you look at uh, really complex uh, ISR by classification, you also see that the restenosis rates are really unacceptably high. And so it's a difficult problem uh, that we face. Um, so in terms of uh, using laser, uh, it's indicated for ISR, but you also can use it for multiple lesion morphologies. And, and as we were watching that case and the question came up about whether there's a mix and there's some thrombus present, um, laser actually works nicely if you go slow and it'll clean up a little bit of thrombus too. Now I use filters all the time, um, so that sort of lesion I, wouldn't scare me away from a uh, laser, but it works, it debulks, and now there's actually a newer catheter uh, that works in directional fashion, so you can debulk even more. So where I use laser atherectomy, if you look at these lesion sets, I have a red for calcium. That's not to say I've never used it in a calcified lesion, but heavy calcium, it's not really gonna work as well as you would like. ISR obviously uh, is where I use it on a regular basis and then long lesions. And, and as I've mentioned uh, previously, these are oftentimes com uh, combination type lesions where they're long and uh, restenotic. CTOs, it depends on how you cross uh, in terms of whether uh, I would use laser or any atherectomy device. So looking at this study with uh, complex Tosaka 3 occluded uh, segments, you see that although the numbers in general, you have to have a sort of peripheral mindset when you look at these numbers and not a coronary mindset, they're actually pretty good for laser and DCB. And I, due to the lack of time, we can't turn this into a laser versus DCB talk, but as you see, the combination works very nicely. And I think that uh, when Andre is done with the case, I think you'll see a very nice result with the combination there as well. Now you can't talk about uh, laser and ISR without talking about the EXCITE trial because that's what put it on the map. So you see here the design, um, you've got sort of two to one randomization, laser and PTA versus PTA, looking at both safety and efficacy. And then you have long lesions, so you're starting to see a trial that actually uh, includes people that you might treat on a day-to-day -day basis. 20% of these lesions were in excess of 300 millimeters, so uh, certainly not afraid to tackle the long lesions. In terms of complications, you see that TLR dissection, particularly significant dissection, was less with the combination. Bailout stenting was less, and then you see uh, non-significant uh, embolization, thrombosis, and closure between the two therapies. In terms of the safety endpoint, at 30 days, you see whether it was intent to treat, intent to treat without bailout stenting, or per protocol, you see an advantage for the combination of laser and PTA versus PTA alone. Uh, freedom from uh, TLR, same thing, through six months. And then as you put this out uh, in time, in terms of estimates, you see that, uh, you know, again, the numbers are not fantastic. However, this is a very difficult problem. But having said that, you go out in time and you see a sustained advantage to the combination uh, of laser and, and uh, PTA versus PTA alone. And that same uh, applies for freedom from major adverse events. And then here you see where the advantages are in terms of your everyday practice. So long lesions, occlusions, task D, small diameter, and obviously previous ISR, all favoring uh, laser. And in fact, the benefit of the combined therapy was uh, better with the longest lesions, or was best with the longest lesions. 
So again, where do I use laser atherectomy? Well, the reasons uh, are clear, both by the live case demonstration and the data, ISR, long lesions, the combination is the sweet spot. And frankly, it's also got an indication and it works. So the case on the left, the final result on the right, uh, now whether that's gonna stand up over time, we'll see. Uh, but for now, it's, a, uh, it's as effective a strategy as we have. Thank you.